So Amanda, are you worried about the content of the vlog stopping? Should we be working from home? No, actually Or no. as I like to say, WFH. Are you slightly worried? I'm worried about the implications of a mass shutdown of the city. I am expecting significant change in the next 40 hours. My guess is that we're going to shut down in the next 40 hours, potentially in the next three hours. With all the change in the last 24 hours with what Trump said in America, the NBA has been suspended, Premier League will be played behind closed doors at the very least. So there seems to be like more and more cases in, in things that are going to disrupt the mainstream. So I think it's a bit inevitable now. It's just about preparing in the right way and making sure that fear mongering is, is kept at a, a, a low rate and actually people are taking logical steps. Everyone, we're leaving in two hours. Everyone's working from home. Pack your stuff up. Um, uh, what about the vlog? Like I said in yesterday's vlog, with Aaron, there is, in no circumstances, not gonna be a daily go release. Okay. On the days it normally gets released. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Chatterbox on Friday exclusively on YouTube. Might have to be in my Sunday. housemates. Might have to be with your housemates or just on the street in a hazmat. <laughs> Are you dispirited? Do you need something to cheer you up? I just want an end date on it. Yeah, what can you do to cheer me up? You want an end date on the coronavirus? <laughs> Neve, you got an end date on the coronavirus? Today. Today? Right, good morning from the Singapore office. So far the world is still here, hasn't ended just yet. We're actually not seeing too much of an effect from, from coronavirus. Business is still carrying on as usual. I'm still having quite a few meetings, seeing some, some current clients, some prospective clients, and got some really cool meetings booked in. The team is kind of dealing with quite a few um, campaigns at the moment, as Emily spoke about yesterday, kind of more on the, on the PR side. Otherwise, all, all is going well here. It's nice and sunny over this side. Luckily, Singapore is a very clean place, so I think people are naturally quite conscious of their hygiene, which is making it a bit easier to control the coronavirus. Christine and I are in a cab on our way to a pitch. Quite a cool pitch to a um, governing body to speak about some creative ideas that we've come up with. Um, so it's five ideas that got into quite a lot of detail about what we can do ahead of some big events. Just chatting about things that we can do from influencer stuff across social and even having an effect on the out of home and PR campaigns. So yeah, should be really cool. Yeah. Hello. Luke. Please tell me about your filter that you made. Yeah, so we put it together for Football Manager to help figure out your transfer value. Have you tried it yet? Uh, I did, I got free transfer, so I just wanted to report to you that there's obviously a bug. It's the first time we've uploaded one for a client, so we're still in the learning phase of figuring out what sort of metrics we can do and how we can make it valuable for people. And is there any truth in the, the value market that it's, it's attributing? I will confess that it is random. You know, I'm worth more than free. Worth more than free transfer? Well, you know what, if you try again, you might get another one. No, I did it twice and it you came twice, both free. times it's free transfer. That might be fake because <laughs> it's quite rare. How long did it take you to build? You built um, this from scratch? Yeah, it took us a few days to going back and forth, just figuring out how the client wanted it to look and what was possible, what wasn't possible. And then the approval process, it can take anywhere from up to 10 days to get a filter approved. It got rejected on the first time. Luckily, I didn't have to make any tweaks. I just kind of had to make a detailed explanation of why I thought it should still be uploaded. Yeah. And it, um, and it got approved. Wow, amazing. Don't do free, don't do free, don't do free. 13 mil. It's an improvement. It's not great right, though. You know, you don't want to settle. Um, 10, I've gone down in value. I don't like this game. <laughs> it's quite bad. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna shut down. The How do you know? Yeah. I'm telling you, we're going to shut down. If today's the last day, yeah. good luck. What? Good luck? Yeah, I've got some food in, man. Oh. Vlog viewers. It's looking quite likely that we will be going home for the next one or two weeks. All the teams have been having various different meetings, I guess getting themselves ready for that eventuality, making sure that the process is streamlined for things continuing as normal. A few people have come up to me and asked whether I actually have a job for that period. Oh yeah. There's one man that's gonna lose his job. What's he gonna do? Sit at home, no, recording himself. Yeah. I reckon he sits at home recording himself anyway, if you know what I mean. Of course the vlog is still going out. It never stops. We're just gonna have to get a 
little bit more creative. Let's say for argument's sake, we are not back in this office for two weeks. Yeah, so I'm either gonna be just knocking at people's windows, talking through people's letterboxes, Skyping, FaceTiming. Who are you gonna to talk to? Are you gonna be at Aaron's house? Is Aaron's could, wife gonna be probably, okay with that? Maybe, I'm not sure. Three in a let's bed. See, let's see who lets me, <laughs> let's see who lets me round. We're all going to the Am I invited? <laughs> if you were a gazelle, you'd be the one to be eaten. Hmm? You'd be the one to be eaten if you were a gazelle. The herd has gone ahead. So you'll all be seeing what's going on with Corona. We're obviously very, very aware of it. We are going to test from tomorrow working from home. Some people are doing it definitely at this point. We're not necessarily gonna do that, but if the situation deteriorates over the weekend, then we may well do that. This is a really critical time for the business. Me, Harry and Nick are gonna take some real pain here. We need every single one of you to help us through this, and we will be incredibly supportive of all of you and everything else, but if you do care about us, you care about this business, now is a time to really double down. We need people working at home twice as hard as they are now. The last thing is we will send around uh, an email with all the information now from Mr. Anderson and then on Sunday at 6 p.m. we will send around our plan for Monday so you will know what the situation is before you have to think about commuting. Communication, key, right? Luckily for my team, we're actually probably the least affected. We're not reliant on anyone here. We don't actually really always need to be here to do our job. We talk to influencers, so it doesn't really matter where we are. Working from home is not for everyone. Just gotta make sure that we keep the production up. In, in a lot of cases, it might help, and it might open our eyes to something else. These things always create opportunities. But the thing is, sometimes like, you actually feel like you'll have more support, because even though I'm sitting next to Zara, if I actually have free calls where we're going up and through his work, it actually might work out better. Throw me up a peace sign. What? Throw me up a peace sign. Throw me up a peace sign. Oh. Don't know. Just... Uh.